If you're trying to buy a house right now, you're probably quite aware it's slim pickings out there. And when you do find the one that you love, most likely you're going to be competing with multiple offers. And in this hot seller's market, chances are you may have to make several attempts before you're the winning bidder on a home. Today, I'm going to give you the top five things you and your realtor should be doing that give you the very best chance of being the winning bidder on that ideal home. And we're getting started right now. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And I invite you to tap that subscribe button and the little red bell too. That way you'll be notified when my next video is published, which is every single Monday and you won't miss a thing. Before we dive in today, I've got to warn you. Some of the things that buyers are having are doing this crazy seller's market in order to be the winning bid may not settle well with some of you. After all, we all want to feel like we're getting a great deal, right? I'm not saying you won't. I'm saying that if you're going to compete in a multi-offer situation, you must have a winner's mindset. Obviously, most homeowners who are selling right now want to make the most money possible. It's nuts out there right now. And many buyers are finding out the hard way that there are some buyers that are willing to go that extra mile to get their ideal home. You need to be armed with the very best strategies when your realtor designs that initial offer. That means you have to forget about making an initial offer below list price. As a buyer wanting to win in this type of market, it's just something you're going to have to come to grips with. When deciding on what amount to initially offer, just make sure that you're comfortable with the possibility that the home may not appraise at the contractual purchase price. If you're financing your new home, that may mean that you have to come up with additional cash at closing to make up the difference. Your realtor may want to put language in your contract that says something like the subject property needs to appraise at or above the contractual purchase price. Well, this totally defeats your purpose and will decrease your odds of being the winning bid. So be very calculated when you're making that initial purchase price offer. This should be your risk, not the seller's. It's also very important to show the seller that you're a real person. Any offer needs to include a personal heartfelt letter addressed to the seller by name. This attached letter needs to be short and well written. Tell them a little bit about you and your family. Point out a few features of the home that you absolutely fell in love with and end the letter by saying that you'd be honored to care for the home like they obviously have through the years. Of course, put all of this in your own words, but you get the idea. Getting back to pricing strategies. Want to light up a seller's eyes? Put cash in front of them. An all cash offer has significant advantages. It knocks out all financing offers, of course, provided that the bid is high enough. It eliminates the need for an appraisal and other contingencies, and they could typically close a lot faster than someone who is applying for a loan. Sellers love cash offers for another big reason too. With the complexity of obtaining a mortgage loan, there are things that could go wrong. A cash offer eliminates the possibility, say three weeks down the road, the house has been on the, off the market all this time and the lender has to deny the loan for some reason. For more details of what could go wrong when financing your new home, you want to check out this video. In it, I talk about things that you should do to avoid these things from happening. You'll find the link down in the description. If an all cash offer is not possible and you have to finance your new purchase, show the seller as much cash as possible. There's a couple of ways you can do this. One way is to forego the standard 1% earnest money deposit. An earnest money deposit is the amount that you place into escrow to show your intentions. This amount is deducted from your purchase price at closing. The more you show as your earnest money deposit, the louder you're saying to the seller, I'm not playing. I am a serious buyer who wants to purchase your property. Another way you could show more cash to the seller is the amount of your down payment. For example, you may have an approval for your standard FHA 3.5% down. If you have additional cash to put down, show it on your purchase contract. This tells the seller that you are financially stronger than the minimum requires. Again, making the statement to the seller that you're putting your best foot forward and you're not afraid to show it. Now for the most powerful thing you could do to show the seller your intent. Attach an escalation clause to your offer. 
In short, an escalation clause is a clause saying that you're telling the seller that you will increase your bid by X amount of dollars over the highest bidder. Of course, there's safeguards that can be put in place, like the amount of the caps or the amount that is increased. Also, the seller's got to produce proof if the escalation clause comes into play. When an escalation clause is used properly, it could be an extremely powerful tool and will definitely increase your odds of being the winning bidder on that house you love. Unfortunately, there's a lot of buyer's agents that aren't familiar with exactly how an escalation clause works. And sadly, there's a lot of seller's agents that aren't familiar with them either. Yep, you guessed it. Human nature says that if you don't understand something, it's easy to dismiss it as being too complicated. If you follow my channel, you've heard me say this many times. Knowledge is power. Your realtor should know how to leverage each and every tool to convey your very best offer. There's two parts to an offer, price and terms. So let's talk a little bit about how you can strengthen the terms portion of your offer. Firstly, your realtor needs to find out if there's any of the time elements that is particularly important to the seller. For example, if the seller needs a tight closing date, give it to them. Just make sure that if you're financing that you check with your lender first before offering a fast closing date. If you've been aggressive in the preparation stage of your home buying journey, your lender should be able to give you a tighter closing date. To learn more about how to properly prepare to buy a home, you'll want to check out this video. You'll find the link below in the description. Another way that you could show the seller that you're serious, shorten your inspection time periods. The inspection time period is typically 10 days. Cut that by half. Your realtor should have several home inspectors on speed dial and can have that home inspection scheduled the moment you get into contract. Every contract contingency is a potential roadblock for a seller. By shortening the time elements in your contract, you're showing the seller that you're minimizing those nail biting times that all sellers dread. Some realtors may suggest waiving the home inspection altogether. Never waive your right to a formal home inspection unless you are 100% confident in the condition of the home. It can be a little scary when deciding which bidding war strategy is best for you and your family. Sit down with your agent and have an in-depth conversation. Map out a plan how your very best offer can be designed, all within your means. After doing these things with a winner's mindset, and you still come in second place for some reason, have your realtor stay in contact with the seller's agent. No transaction is guaranteed to close. In this crazy market, we're seeing some unprecedented things happen. Always be ready to pounce in event that your realtor gets wind that the current offer has failed. I hope you found this video helpful and maybe learned a few things. Want a free 15 minute consultation with me personally? Just click the book now link below and choose a time that works best for you. I'd love to talk to you. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.